There has been a flood of speculation online surrounding one of the greatest footballers of all time, Cristiano Ronaldo. With over 40 million subscribers on his newly launched YouTube channel in just 24 hours, breaking all previous records, it's no surprise that people are talking. But what if there's more to this story? Some online sources and fans believe that Ronaldo didn't just break YouTube's records, he might have actually bought YouTube in secret. Now this may sound a little far-fetched, but there might be more to this claim than many are willing to admit. The Record-Breaking YouTube Channel A few days ago, Cristiano Ronaldo ventured into YouTube, and the outcome has been nothing short of sensational. To put it in perspective, no one has ever gained even a million subscribers in a single day, let alone 20 million. This kind of explosive growth has never been seen before, and it's causing waves across the digital landscape. Ronaldo broke YouTube's record by becoming the fastest growing channel in history. This immediately raised eyebrows. How could one person, although one of the most famous athletes in the world, achieve such unprecedented growth in such a short time? Theories and rumors started flying around. One of the most intriguing rumors circulating online is that Ronaldo, along with Lionel Messi, was supposedly banned from YouTube because their immense popularity could potentially disrupt YouTube's entire ecosystem, including its algorithm and content backlog. To test the theory, imagine two of the most popular athletes on the planet suddenly joining YouTube. They could garner billions of views and their subscriber counts could instantly dwarf those of established creators. The theory suggests that YouTube might not want that kind of disruption, especially if it means altering the platform's algorithms and potentially creating a backlog of content that the system simply can't handle. Some speculate that to avoid this chaos, YouTube might have initially banned these football icons from creating channels. The idea behind this theory is that the platform's stability could be at risk if too much attention is focused on a single channel or a few channels. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Some have claimed that to bypass this alleged ban, Ronaldo decided to buy into YouTube itself, bringing us to the second speculation. Ronaldo's strategic move, buying a stake in YouTube. Another theory gaining traction is the idea that Cristiano Ronaldo bought a stake in YouTube. As a shareholder with vested interests in the platform's success, it's hard to imagine how a personality like Ronaldo could be denied the opportunity to have his own channel if he wanted. Given that Ronaldo is one of the wealthiest athletes in the world, with his net worth estimated in the hundreds of millions, it's entirely plausible that he could have bought a significant share in YouTube. For someone like Ronaldo, investing in a thriving platform like YouTube could be a strategic move. Some speculate that buying shares of YouTube would give Ronaldo more control over his content and how it's monetized, it would also potentially allow him to avoid the usual problems that regular creators face, such as algorithm changes, demonetization, and other platform-related issues. Another interesting angle to consider is the idea that Ronaldo might be looking at YouTube as part of his retirement plan. At 39 years old, Ronaldo is nearing the end of his illustrious football career. Two, three is my maximum. I want to play with, I want to finish with 40. I think we'll be a 40. 40. While he's still performing at an elite level, the reality is that retirement is on the horizon. Since YouTube is one of the most profitable and influential platforms in the world, buying into YouTube shares could secure Ronaldo a steady income post-retirement. Just like Elon Musk, who diversified his investments across various industries, including technology, space exploration, and energy, Ronaldo could be positioning himself for long-term success on YouTube. According to many, Ronaldo's involvement with YouTube is likely a strategic move to maintain his relevance and financial stability after hanging up his boots. After all, his name alone is a brand, and what better way to capitalize on that brand than through one of the biggest platforms in the world? Online reactions and speculation. Of course, these rumors haven't gone unnoticed by the public. Social media is buzzing with theories, concerns, and even some outlandish ideas about Ronaldo's involvement with YouTube. One user on X, formerly Twitter, Effect Media PR, noted, Ronaldo joined YouTube today, and I'm seeing a lot of people saying YouTube would regret this LOL. This is a marketing strategy for YouTube itself. If you check the Instagram post that Ronaldo used to make the announcement, it was a collaboration with YouTube. 
This suggests that Ronaldo's YouTube debut was not just a personal milestone, but a carefully planned marketing move by YouTube itself. Collaborating with a global icon like Ronaldo could be YouTube's way of tapping into his massive fan base and driving even more traffic to the platform. Another ex-user, a Malak Moja, raised an interesting point. Google really allowed Ronaldo to join YouTube. How will they pay him? He will make them go bankrupt. While this might sound exaggerated, it underscores the concern that Ronaldo's presence on YouTube could overshadow other creators and potentially strain the platform's resources. A third user at the Somali remarked back in June, Ronaldo can't have a YouTube channel because of the unimaginable amount of subscribers and views he'd have, which will shorten pay for other creators. This is not even a debate. This comment highlights a genuine concern within the creator community. If Ronaldo's channel continues to grow at such an unprecedented rate, it could indeed affect the distribution of ad revenue and visibility for other creators on the platform. What does this mean for YouTube? So what does all this mean for YouTube? If these rumors are true and Ronaldo has indeed bought shares in the platform, there could be a significant shift in the dynamics of online content creation. First, Ronaldo's involvement could set a precedent for other celebrities and influencers to invest in platforms where they host their content. This could lead to a new era of creator-owned platforms, or at the very least, creators having more say in how their content is managed and monetized. But on the flip side, this could create a wide gap between regular creators and those with financial backing. If more celebrities start buying into platforms like YouTube, it could become increasingly difficult for smaller creators to compete for attention and revenue. Conclusion While the idea of Cristiano Ronaldo secretly buying YouTube might seem far-fetched to some, it's not entirely implausible. His record-breaking success on the platform and history of making smart and strategic investments make it a theory worth considering. Whether or not Ronaldo has bought a share in YouTube remains to be seen, but one thing is clear, he is already making waves on the platform, and it's only just the beginning. Take care.